everybody. Now before I start, I know there are other Wacom Express Key remote reviews out there. But I wanted to go through with this because it will link in with my video on how I set it up to work with my Chuai Hai 12 later on. The packaging itself is fairly basic, it's got the manufacturing and model info on the base. Then moving up to the front we have the Wacom logo, a picture of the Express Key remote and the name of the product across the top. On the back we are given a very short caption and box contents listed in 8 different languages. Two clear circle stickers seal the packaging together. Once the stickers are taken off, the top easily slides off to reveal the Express Key remote sealed in a shiny clear plastic cover. Underneath the remote exposes a dongle which is paired with the remote. It is what will connect the remote and the computer together. Below this layer of packaging is a micro USB to USB cable which charges the remote, a booklet of instructions and finally a small leaflet with some info. The remote looks exactly like the way it is pictured online and in its box. It feels fairly light in terms of weight and has a rubber finish on the back. At the base of the remote is the on switch, the charging light and the light which tells us that it's been switched on. Finally at the very top sits the charging port. Now I noticed a small mark on the bottom left button which I'm not sure how it got there because it's supposed to be a brand new product. I had to purchase mine from Amazon UK because at the time of making this video Wacom's UK store was down. It cost me £96 compared to Wacom who sell it for £90. Not much of a difference so it's okay. The USB to micro USB cable provided is required to charge up the remote. I tried to switch mine on when out the box but I got no light so I assume it had no charge at all. I'm just going to use a USB port on my MacBook Pro to charge it up. An orange light indicates it is charging, once that goes off it means it's charged up. The next part is to just plug the USB dongle into the USB port on your device, in my case a MacBook Pro. This dongle is tiny which is great because it means it's super portable and less chance of breaking because it doesn't stick out from my laptop much, but I do kind of worry that I might end up losing it. Once the dongle is connected, there is a small icon which pops up at the very top bar. It kind of looks like a Wacom bamboo. By clicking on it, the Wacom tablet preferences can be selected from the menu. I'm just going to switch my Express Key remote on for the first time. The remote indicates it's on by showing a blue light momentarily. The manual reads the light will flash for a few seconds while connecting itself to the dongle. However, I didn't quite experience this. Let's go straight into Clip Studio and test it out. One thing I noticed about the radial menu almost instantly was that it wasn't as smooth as I expected it to be. Yes, the surface feels smooth, but it's not rough, but there's still some friction when running my finger around it. But I think I'll get used to it soon enough. Sadly, it does have a major problem. When using the canvas rotation, I found the canvas continued to rotate for about 10 to 15 seconds after I'd taken my finger off the remote. And it wasn't just Clip Studio Paint that I experienced this problem with. I had the same problem in Photoshop. This is a major problem for me because I do use the rotation quite a lot as you might have noticed in some of my speed paints. I couldn't find a solution for this online, but I think maybe a driver update might fix this later on. Let's take a minute to look at the preferences. The first button on the outer ring of buttons on the remote gives a map of all the buttons which is handy in case you need to remind yourself without having to access the preferences. The preferences are split into three main tabs, express keys, touch ring and on screen controls. The express keys then splits into three sub tabs. Each of the buttons can be remapped to a new option or command. If ever you mess up just keep in mind that there is a default button which will reset it back. That just about concludes this video. It's a well-made device which fits comfortably in the palm. Some of the buttons have embossed symbols on them so you can feel your way around rather than having to take your eye off the screen to look at the remote. The rubberized back also means it can be rested on the Cintiq Pro even if it's at an angle without slipping off. And best of all, it works with any device as long as you have the right drivers. In fact, it works without connecting a graphics tablet. 
costing £90, it might be a little expensive for an artist on a budget. Unfortunately, the only cheap alternative I could find isn't released yet. XP Pen are due to release the shortcut remote, the AC19, which looks more like my mum's pocket calculator from about 15 years ago. But from reading the comments on XP Pen's YouTube channel, it will be available on Amazon soon at a very small price tag of $36. It's supposed to come out late January, I think. As a last note, it wasn't all smooth sailing. There were slight minor problems I had when using with Clip Studio and Photoshop, but I realise not everyone encounters them, therefore I am going to cover them in a new video and show you how to fix them. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye!